Hello everybody, welcome back to Randomized Crystal, the post-game. So, I have decided to do things a little bit differently because of the amount of time that it's taking for me to grind things. Uh, so as you can see, I currently have quite a bit of distance between Rigorel and everybody else. And this is just moving along at a snail's pace. So I think what I'm going to do uh, is in the future, our recordings are going to be me doing various post-game things, and they'll happen every now and then. This isn't going to be a frequent upload anymore, and when I get everybody to level like 60 or 65, that's when I'll fight Red. Uh, and this, this might change again uh, if things pick up once I finally break the levels that the uh, Elite Four people are at. Because currently we're still well below a lot of them. A lot of them are like level 55 or so. So once we break past that, that's when I'll start uh, doing regular uploading, maybe. Uh, for now this is going to be a temporary thing and this is really just me recording uh, to tell you that. Because, let's, let's face it, uh, the level, the level cap that I put on this thing was maybe not the best idea, although it did make it more interesting having me be confused all the time about the levels. So today, I think I might start working on the Pokedex, and I'll just record for a little bit. And we'll have some fun doing post-game things, and we'll start with this. So, unlike during the regular uh, recording of this, uh, I'm just going to focus on one Pokémon at a time to level up, because I think that will maybe make it a little more bearable, and then I can switch whenever I get bored. So right now, we're just focusing on Rigorel. Because Rigorel should be in the lead as our first Pokemon. And this thing is just gonna thrash and probably critical hit us because it seems to be real good at that. I don't know why this thing is so good at critting. But it is. I also don't know how we ended up getting that kind of damage. Maybe I don't understand how Psybeam works. He's gonna light screen first turn. So I need to get this off now. Done this fight a few times. Since leveling up. I was also well aware that that thing would faint immediately. But this guy is a bit different. He's gonna crab hammer us. And it is actually gonna do quite a bit of damage. It almost feels like a waste using a hyper potion for anything less than 120 now. Now that they've changed the way it works in the newer games. Actually, kind of mad about that, to be honest. We're getting very lucky with this fight. This usually ends up with me using at least three hyper potions. It's honestly not even worth the money. The experience is pretty good. So this is just going to be kind of a casual run from now on, but if you're still really interested in seeing me do Pokemon stuff, um, I have a new series out, Yuki Damashi. It's I'm enjoying it quite a bit, and it's moving at a pretty fast clip, and it's going to be over real soon. 
But until then, there's that. And I'm not sure how quick I'm gonna move around the gens. I'm not sure if I'm gonna give myself like a week or two of a break between them. Uh, recording schedule wise. Uh, I'm also not sure about upload schedule. Cause I might go that way. Have we got this TM yet? I feel like we do. Yep. So let's go get just like 10 Pokemon or so. Let's make sure I have Pokeballs first. Yeah, we got some Pokeballs. These things are going to be really weak. Okay, so we have Amari. I do seem to remember catching one and naming it the name that I always name Marips. It was a long time ago. It was many, many months ago. That's not bad. But we already have one. Because we traded for it. Okay, so I think that's all we're gonna find here. Ratataz and Pidgeys. That's all that's here. So let's move on. When you try to do speedrunning strats and they do not go in your favor. Oh, there's Voltorb. But we already have one. Expecting this to go well. I think we're gonna kill it. It's flying type. But we have really good attack. Oh, okay, that works. I don't think this will work. But we're gonna give it a shot. life. Would be really nice if it were to use Leech Life. That level ball actually might work pretty well. Alright. No need. And we're not gonna name things because we're just, we're filling out our Pokedex. We're not gonna use these things ever. Oh, you need to manually change your box in order to catch Pokemon in this game, don't you? Do we have a Lord Helix? We don't! We don't have a Lord Helix. Lord Helix, be my friend. Let's see... Uh, fly might be a good option. Yeah, let's try fly. 
Well, now we don't get to switch out. It's probably gonna kill it. Oh boy! Oh, that's great. Okay, if we survive, I'm gonna use fly again. Oh, we'll be fine. I was debating sand attack, but we don't even need to. Oh, please use that and get all the defense buffs. Well, now it's too late. Alright, I'll use one sand attack. Drop that hydro pump accuracy. One more. And Pokeballs. Not that the illustrious Lord Helix isn't worth a great ball. But I'd rather use up all these Pokeballs first. We will name this one, of course. Count now to make sure I had the space. All right, let's see what else we got here. And this has been randomized so that you can catch everything somewhere. So we don't have to worry about evolving anything really, unless we want to take the time. And I probably will. At some point I'll probably go through my Pokedex and see what I have that can be evolved that I don't already have. I seem to remember there only being two encounter types here, so let's move on. And now that I think about it, we might not actually have fought any of the trainers on this route, so that might be something to think about. But these guys aren't worth killing for the experience, so... Aha! Indeed. even we can use psychic but it's not gonna hurt it very much oh no now it's gonna be super effective because poison <laughs> god that sprite looks so much better than the one in than the one in gen one it's kind of amazing how bad the sprite art is in gen one compared to gen two Like, they definitely stepped up their game if it was the same artist. This will be super effective because that's poison type. Or if it's not, then dragon resists, resists psychic and I didn't know about it. Oh, so close to 59. I will fight anything. Do we have an electrode? We do. Then you get a hyper beam. It's not gonna kill it. I was hoping I'd be surprised there, but I wasn't. But that works out. Two side beam is probably would have done the same thing there, but. I have no regrets. 
We're just being casual now. Not that I ever wasn't before. I guess I could do a fishing episode at some point. how Crystal is a name that gets put into the randomizer so much. It's pretty fantastic, if I must say. Okay. Looks like we actually have a fair amount of Pokemon already. I wish that uh, it would tell you which Pokemon you have in trainer battles, although I understand why they don't do it. But it would certainly be good, be good for me to make uh, notes about which Pokemon I don't have. Uh, that's Dark type. This is probably not gonna kill. But we can hope. Okay. Oh, shit. Can't hit it with Sybeam. Alright. Uh, it's rock type. I need to do some experimenting right now. I need to know how this affects. I know it's super effective on ground, but what about rock? Okay, that's what I thought. Sorry, I don't use Ice-type Pokemon very often. Uh, Jersey can go to 53. I mean, if there's enough experience in it. Oh no! One of the very few occasions. Hey, Payday Battle. Oh, we might die here. Probably not, though. Hey, at the very least, we're getting money for this. There we go. Man, I don't think we've ever missed two in a row in high jump. Jerzen's really consistent, usually. Jerzen honestly really improved the way that I feel about high jump kick. <laughs> I did not like that move at all, but I'm pretty sure it was the only option that we had at the time. Thanks, Rena. I'll uh, keep that in mind. I'm not sure which, uh, which phone people are the best to have for, like, an optimized kind of, uh, cell phone list. So I just kind of went with a lot of the people that I had in my phone when I was a kid. And that one was Rena, who is 
on the bridge uh, on the way to the Elite Four. She's like the second trainer that you run into there. Alright. We're gonna search for Pokemon here. And then if we don't find any good ones, then we're gonna just stop. This is a good place to end. We're past 20 minutes now. And that's a good Pokemon to end with, I think. What do you think, folks? Should I use the Master Ball on the Mew? I'm not even sure what moves I should use on this thing. Well, presumably there's more than one, so I'm gonna test out how Confusion does. I'm expecting this to kill it, to be honest. Okay. It's not horrible. I do kinda wish that it would have a little bit less. Let's see. Uh, low kick, maybe. Let's test out a low kick. Let's see if it does enough to kill it. Okay. If we miss the low kick, then I'll throw one Pokeball. Uh, we're actually gonna wait for that to work out in our favor. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? I think I might have catch right on this. That might be why. Oh, we're not naming things. Okay. Alright, that's a good place to end. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Uh, comment if you want to. Can't imagine why you would, maybe just to tell me what you think I should do about leveling up stuff and the best way to go about catching stuff. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, although this is just kind of casual post-game stuff, so please check out my other series that are uh, actively being uh, updated regularly. Have a good day. Goodbye.